Good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming to listen to my presentation. My name is Lu Han. I'm honored and proud to have the opportunity to address such a distinguished audience. My subject of my presentation is a new method of motion evaluation in porous media. I shall be speaking today about the problem of emulsification in the process of flooding. My presentation consists of these following parts. Emulsification is an important role for the oral success of the pilot of combined chemical flooding. In order to succeed in the pilot, the water cut needs to be reduced by 10 to 20 percentage points. As shown in the figure, this is the dynamic curve of emulsion viscosity and water cut and the different injection volumes of Dutch oil field in China. It is found that when the water cut decreases to 60%, that is, when it meets the effective characteristics of the oil field, emulsion occurs in the produced fluid. When the viscosity of the emulsion is tested, it is found that the viscosity increases sharply. We separate the production and emulsion to observe its phenomenon, as shown in the figure to the right. Therefore, emulsification is a necessary condition in the pilot of chemical flooding in order to be effective in the pilot. The emulsification process must occur. The conventional method believes that the system with strong stability has high displacement efficiency. In the figure, the core of the experiment is observed and found that the recovery rate of the strong emulsification system and the ultra low inefficient tension is only 12%, while well, the recovery rate of the weak emulsification system reaches 25%. It is found that the displacement efficiency of the system with strong stability is significantly lower than that of the system with weak stability, indicating that the emulsification in porous media is different from microscopic emulsification with zinc. So bluntly emphasizing uh, emulsification can not great improve, uh, greatly improve oil recovery. Our conventional method is to carry all the evaluation work through macroscopic stability performance evaluation and static quality or quality evaluation methods such as emulsification um, phase state, water separation rate, emulsification comprehensive index, and so on. They cannot obtain the emotion, emotion stabilization mechanism from the macroscopic level and cannot evaluate the emulsification performance dynamically and systematically. Therefore, a new method is proposed to define the strengths of the emulsification and carry out quantitative research on the relationship between structure and performance to find a suitable displacement system. Based on the above, we initially proposed a quantitative characterization method for the emulsification system in porous media to char uh, characterize the emulsification stress for reservoirs with different permeability. When screening and evaluating the boundary high efficiency flooding system, in addition to the conventional evaluation of interfacial tension and emulsifying performance, it is necessary to carry out the evaluation of the displacement effect of beta core every time, which is expensive and time consuming. We carry out coarse flooding experiments in short course by injecting a mixture of oil composite system and quantitatively characterize the strength of emulsification by observing the corresponding parameters. The advantages of this new evaluation method lie in using real course to replace the actual reservoir post road environment, using oil water mixture injection to reduce the oil saturated process of course. Real-time quantitative pressure testing to observe the, observe the 
uh, emulsification process, reducing a lot of experiment, uh, experimental time and cost while improving work efficiency. The second part is the implementation of the materials and method we used. We used uh, epoxy, uh, resin casting and wrapping of short course, of which the length is 4.5 centimeters and the diameter is 3.8 centimeters. In the comparison experiment, the long core is 30 centimeters in length and 3.8 centimeters in diameter. At the same time, the on-site crude oil samples were obtained in Dutch oil field China and the simulated water at the corresponding salinity was prepared and used a polymer, HPAI, with molecular weight of 14 million. A series of experiments were carried out in a pair of pilot experiment uh, environment at 45 degree, degrees uh, Celsius. The table shows the relevant core parameters of the file representative systems we selected. The conventional method commonly used in porous media is to evacuate the core and uh, saturate it with water. And then the aging takes a total of 12 hours. The second step is to carry out the saturated oil test until the oil saturation reaches more than 60%. At this time, it takes three days. Then continue to age for one day. And then carry out the water flooding experiment until the water cut has a production and reaches more than 98%, which takes about five hours. Finally, carry all, we carry out the chemical flooding experiment. The compost system is injected into the core at 0.5 PV injection, injection value. And finally, the follow up is carried out. The water flooding experiment lasted about one day until the water cut reached more than 98%. Uh, the overall long core flooding experiment takes about a week. The method we used is to alternately, alternately inject oil and uh, simulated water at 1.5 PV in the first slug. The test uh, equilibrium pressure is P1. In the second slug, the oil and formula are injected at 10 PV. The test equilibrium pressure is P2. The three slug inject oil and simulated water alternately into the three PV. And the uh, equilibrium pressure tested is P3. After testing, it was found that the time used in each group of ex experiments was significant, significantly reduced only about 22 hours, which was shortened by about 85% compared with the conventional long core flooding experiments, which improved the e efficiency. Therefore, we defined the migration index to count quantitatively characterize the migration performance of the motion. First, we test two sides of pressures, P1 and P2, and then calculate the pressure of P1 multiplied by the viscosity of the system, and the pressure P2 multiplied by the viscosity of water. Divide the two values to obtain the migration index of the motion as um, e, which is, um, which is a dimensionless index. Similarly, we define the retention index to quant quantitatively characterize the retention effect of the motion. First, two sides of, of pressures P1 and P3 were tested. Second, the pressure of P1 multiplied multiplied by the viscosity of the system and the pressure P3 multiplied by the viscosity of the water were calculated. The retention index of the motion obtained by dividing the two is SE, which also a dimensionless index. So 
through the above short core ex experimental method, we have success successfully defined two indices to characterize the stress of the emotion. Next, we conducted an index analysis for the following five systems with significant differences, namely the um, polymer system with a molecular weight of 14, um, 40 million, the strong emulsified binary system, the weak emulsified binary system, the weak alkali ternary system, salt added near middle phase system. The figure on the right shows the dynamic curves of the injective volume and index of several systems corresponding to the polymer, the strong and weak binary system, the weak alkali ternary system, near middle phase system from bottom to top. In the figure, the comparative changes of the retention index and the migration index of the file systems can be clearly seen. At the same time, we also carried out the conventional long core flooding experiment as a comparative test, in which the recovery rate of polymer flooding is only 8.5%. The recovery rate of strong emulsification binary system is 15.5%. Uh, and the recovery rate of weak emulsification binary system is 25.6%. The recovery rate of the weak alkali ternary system can reach 29.6%. And the recovery rate of near major phase system can reach 42.9%. By plotting uh, histograms of migration and retention indices versus chemical flooding recovery rate, the relationship between the two indices and the recovery rate was clearly observed, and the corresponding bridges were defined. Within a certain range, when the migration index exceeds 16.9 and the retention index, index exceeds about 24, the chemical flooding recovery rate of one dimensional long course can be greater than, than or equal to 30%. Therefore, we can conclude that the migration and the retention indices of different displacement, displacement systems have a good correlation with the, with the displacement effect. And the system with high migration slash retention index has higher displacement efficiency. At the same time, we can also preliminarily predict that the short core emulsification experiment, experiment can replace the long core flooding experiment for system optimization. In summary, we can draw the following conclusions. A new evaluation method for rapid and quantitative characterization of emotions in porous media was proposed. Short core experiments take a significantly less time than conventional long core flooding experiments. Besides, migration and retention indices are defined, while additional disturbances such as oil and water properties, core properties, and system viscosity are removed. Finally, we found there is a good uh, correlation, correlation between the migration and retention indices and the displacement efficiency. When the migration index of the system exceeds 16.9 and the retention index exceeds 24, one dimensional long core chemical flooding recovery can be greater than or equal to 30%. And that's the end of my presentation. Any comment or advice is warmly welcomed. Thank you for your attention.